Hundreds of thousands of students study abroad each year, and a growing number are in high school. You learn the language, you can make friends, you can just experience something that you wouldn't do here because you're taking a risk. 19-year-old Anthony Garcia studied abroad not once, but twice. Most recently, studying for an entire year in South Korea. And he's just one of many here in Connecticut taking advantage of these opportunities. The way that we live is not the only way to live. Roz McCarthy leads a Center for Global Studies, an international magnet school based out of Norwalk's Brian McMahon High School. Last night, the school hosted an international fair, bringing to light the international camps, study tours, and exchange programs available today. It's really hard to find out what kind of, when you, you want to do a summer program, but you don't know where to start except to go on the web. One program on display is a two-week trip to Japan, known as JetMIP. Students in the program travel to an area devastated by the tsunami. Gwyneth Nicolo is one of 32 students who recently returned, and here's why she's telling others to apply. It meets new people, get new experiences, see the world not as you heard them, see it by your own eyes. When you really experience how other people live, it really makes you think about the pros and cons of our own culture and how you can absorb some of other cultures into your way of life. You can learn more about the Center for Global Studies and its future international affairs by going to centerglobalstudies.org. For its relevant news, I'm Diana Blass.